Hey everybody, Helping Hands here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the development of Company Heroes 3, what's happened in the last month or so since the pre-alpha. So Relic, once they did a stream the other day, they announced this roadmap. As you can see, they've got September, October, November, December for the rest of the year. Uh, in September, they will be celebrating 15 years of Co. And they're going to be doing a Co. Div Invitational Tournament, as well as Intel and Partisans, UI and UX, Wehrmacht, Mission Design, uh, Co. Dev Development and Twitch Streams. In October, we can see they're going to be talking about the British Forces, Air and Navy, Concept Research, Destruction. November, US Battle Groups, British Battle Groups, Multiplayer Maps. That's going to be a hot one for me personally. Uh, matchmaking and Rankings. And, oh yeah, that sounds good as well. December, Supply Lines and Economy, Animation and happy holidays so this is a roadmap they brought out at the end of their stream this is on the official twitter page as you can see up here and they've also relic have uh, posted quite a few other things on their official tw twitter lately they've added um, a couple of other cool features like this cool wallpaper here give you guys an example of um this is a monte casino i believe it's a beautiful picture there you can see over here we i think we have the uh, the female partisans of the italians over here looks awesome You've got the Gurkhas here, I believe, in front as well. And you've got some other infantry on the right. You can see the Germans in the distance, a burning Panzer IV and a 222, or 221 rather. A pack up just there in the, in, in the distance as well. And also, guys, pay attention here to the tank itself. As you can see, the tank has bullet holes in it. It doesn't look cartoony at all. I know a lot of people were saying the graphics that they saw in the Alpha were cartoony. I don't know what people are on. They do not look cartoony at all. You can see they've got, you know, this, is what, this uh, tank looks like it's been battle-worn. You've got all the uh, the bullet holes coming off it, the indents there as well. You've got, um, it says Thunder Fist on there. And you obviously can see a, a, the logo of the tank there as well, which looks really cool. We've been got some uh, showcasing Gurkhas here and some of the screen captures. Um, one other thing I'd like to point out specifically. Oh, here we go. Here's a really good picture of the, uh, it looks like a Calliope, but it's not. It was called the Whiz Bang, this one. Um, so you can see here clearly it's got loads of mud on it, which is beautiful. You've got all the you can see the 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 uh, the dents where it's received uh, fire from, which has looked great. And uh, another specific thing that we would like to point out is this one here, guys. This is a Italian vehicle, the Semovente 6518 Italian assault gun. This looks really cool. So it shows you guys here that they are going to be including Italian units at the very least. We might not see an Italian faction itself, but at least we're going to see some Italian units uh, make a showing, which is awesome. So I'm so excited to see uh, this in action in the game. And here's some, some statistics as well from the August the 24th. You can see that they, um, uh, Panzer IVs, 86,000 Panzer IVs were destroyed. Pre-Alpha testers, who we have, we have 136,000 pre-Alpha testers. And 21,000, or rather almost up to 22,000 players completed the preview itself. We actually went through and completed the entire campaign, which was really good. And 215.7k uh, hours played. Buildings breached here. 51,000 buildings breached and 120k grenades were used. This is a cool little art piece of artwork here. Look at that. Love, loving that. So here, guys, we can see the official Relic stream that they did a while ago on the 12th of August last month. Um, our community manager for Company Heroes 3 is John C. And there is another community ma manager called Eliana, uh, which you can reach out to as well at Relic. They will be your um, point of calls if you've got any questions, um, you know, about the game development, things like that. Or maybe you want to uh, talk to them about, I don't know, anything to do with Company Heroes. Uh, there you guys to go ask. So there you guys go. Also, guys, just want to talk to you guys about the Co3 discord if you haven't joined that already this is a place where you can discuss all things company hero related and give feedback to the developers and talk amongst yourselves um the link for the discord will be in the description below of this video so you can check it out there but here you go it's just just going to show you you know all the different channels here from uh talking about co3 co2 and co1 community introduce yourself and off topic sections as well so you know good place to congregate if you want to talk about company heroes 3 with other people so there you guys go. That is the end of the video. I'll be sure to be posting all kind of Company Heroes 3 things related in the future. So make sure to click that subscription button. Uh, again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.